All right, what's going on YouTube? So Sony recently released their version four firmware for the Sony A7 series cameras, and that includes the Sony A63 and A6500 as well. So I just wanted to make a quick walkthrough video on how to install that onto your camera. So a couple of things to make sure you've got. So Sony recommends at least having a three bar battery life on your camera. I've got mines at, well, it was at 100%, but I'd recommend going with 100% just to be safe. Also, they say that you should remove your memory card before you get started, so let's go ahead and do that. Another step you want to do is go over to your toolbox menu and make sure your USB connection is set to mass storage. This might be different if you were tethering, so just make sure you have that set to mass storage. Also, Sony recommends you use their proprietary or included, it's not proprietary, it's a regular micro USB to USB cable. They recommend using their included cable that comes with the camera. I'd recommend doing this as well. I didn't want to dig mine up and I have a pretty good one here at my desk, so I just used the one that I had. But a lot of people might have an older USB cable that's uh, maybe not supported and they do have a disclaimer on their instructions that says they can't guarantee the functionality of the firmware upgrade if you don't have the right USB cable. So just use the one that they included with their camera. Before we install the firmware, just one quick thing to note here. It will reset all of your picture profiles. It'll set those all back to default. So if you have uh, set up your own picture profile that you want to save, uh, maybe just write down the settings so that you can redo those later. It will remember all of your custom function buttons. So C123 and the trash can. It'll also remember what settings you have here on the dial. So your memory settings, it'll keep those. So let's go ahead and install this firmware. All right, so first you want to navigate over to the Sony eSupport website. You want to make sure that uh, you select cameras a interchangeable lens so that's cameras alpha interchangeable lens they have a lot of camcorders and stuff like that so just uh, steer away from that then you're going to select ilce and then you're going to pick your camera model here so uh, i have the a7r mark ii so this would be the a7r mark ii right here so i'll click that then i'm going to select my operating system i'm doing this on a mac so if you're on a Windows system, you would select one of these. And then you're going to drop down this first menu here and select your firmware update. This is going to download. You're going to find it in your finder system. I would recommend moving it here to your desktop just so you have quick access to it. You're going to double click this launcher system here. And now, really important, just make sure that you do not connect your camera to the computer until you have launched this software, this system software updater here, okay? So you wanna launch that. It's gonna ask you for your password, so you can go ahead and enter that. Okay, so once you've launched the system software updater, you go ahead and connect your camera. Then you're going to hit next. You definitely don't want to touch your camera at all while this is installing, so just let it do its thing. It's going to take a few minutes. All right, just go ahead and click finish and you should be all done. Make sure you check your camera to make sure that the firmware version four installed and you should be all set. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, give the video a like. If you have any questions, uh, ask me in the comments. I have uh, no subscribers, so I'll probably get back to you right away. Thanks again.